Hey guys, Paul from Far Outdoors. Welcome back. This is a little different. It's not anything at all to do with fishing. I just wanted to kind of go over a couple of things I made for myself uh, this past week uh, for archery uh, to try to get ready for some upcoming seasons because I have picked hunting back up again. Hopefully we'll have some good videos for you soon. Anyway, one thing that I did, it cost me, I think I totaled 16 uh, decking screws is all that it cost me in my neighborhood where I live they're doing a lot of building here so what I did was went and found a couple wood pallets and a couple pieces of used lumber to build myself a nice little uh, target stand for my target so there's my target I got a couple of hooks right here at the top and these two little loops set inside the hook just a quick little basically triangular frame a base on it it's 36 by 48 tall and then a couple cross supports right there uh, so it literally cost me nothing well then it got me to thinking because i was shooting outside in my backyard i needed something for my bow so what i did today was went out and i bought some materials after reviewing several different types of bow um bow racks that were on youtube and online etsy some other places like that and i took photos of a bunch of them and i came up with something that i think is what i like the best out of all of it with a couple of my own modifications so i went out today home depot po purchased some of the uh materials that i'm going to need and i kind of wanted to go over that before i got into this build with you guys so here's what you're going to need so we have two end caps that are an inch and a half i decided i decided i'm going to go with an inch and a half tubing on this uh and then the back end of it as you'll see is a two inch so which was my modification so i have two end caps here these two are inch and a half uh, pieces of pvc that i cut to five inches those are where the bow is going to sit on in both sides so it's a double bow holder i have four inch and a half t's four inch and a half elbows two inch and a half or i'm sorry two inch to inch and a half reducers here i have four pieces of inch and a half PVC cut at four inches each. I have two pieces of PVC here cut at 12 inches a piece, one piece of PVC here cut at 15, two pieces of PVC here cut at 24, and one piece here which is the front upright that the bows will be resting on that is going to be 42 inches you can make it any height you want i just like the height of 42 inches for the back the cup holder and the arrow holder i have two inch pipe so you will need for that two 90 degree elbows two inch two t's two inch t's you will need a four inch reducer down to a two inch i couldn't get these apart so i left them together uh, you'll need two of those then i bought a 24 inch piece of four inch pvc for these and cut them down to four inches i started out longer but found that they were too tall so i kept cutting on them i'm right down to four inches if you notice on the inside i have cut out some wood plates to fit in there i'll drill holes in it just for water drainage haven't done that yet and it cost me nothing as you can see i have old pallet wood over there in the corner so anything i can do to get cheaper that's what i'm going to do so with that you'll need two of the two inch pieces cut at four inch two of the two inch pieces cut at eight inches and two of the two inch pieces cut at 12 inches so what i will do at the bottom of this video is i'm going to put all the links that i cut mine to you can adjust it to yourself i'm fairly short i'm five foot seven so i didn't want to make it too tall but i wanted it comfortable enough that i didn't have to bend a whole lot uh, some guys will want it a little bit shorter that's fine make it to the way you want i'll just put mine 
at the bottom down into the description caption. So make sure you check those out as well, guys. So the first step I want to do is start out with my base. So here we go. I'm going to grab one of the 24 inch pieces that were cut. Put your elbows on both sides. That's going to be one side of your base. I will not glue these two pieces here. The reason is, is for easy tear down and transport. So there's one side of it. Let's grab the other 24 inch piece. Put our 90s on there. Again, this is inch and a half tubing. Cut it 24 inches. This is going to be this side. All right. The next thing we're going to do is there was a single piece, or uh, 24 inches. I cut it down right in the middle. So at 12 inches, this is going to be where your T comes off for the front support on it. Those were going for the front side of it. You will grab a inch and a half T. There. Stick that on. It's always good to have a rubber mallet to use so it doesn't damage it too much. I'm not gonna do that right now just for the sake of this video. So your front T is on. Now you get your long piece that's gonna be your front support for your bow. And I cut mine at 42. Cut it to the length of your bow or whatever it is that you feel comfortable with. I like 42. I don't like bending down anymore than I have to. So that's gonna go right there in the front. Let's grab another T here. That's gonna go right there for your bow support. I've already prefabbed these guys, so because for one, I couldn't get these at, uh, end caps off. So you'll want two of the end caps too to keep rain out, stuff like that. And you loosen enough, sand the inside of that, which I'm going to do. I told you I had some modifications. That's one of them. I'm going to sand the outside of that PVC once I get these off. That way these are easy, easily removed. But these are your two bow supports. They'll go into the T here like that, just kind of eyeball it to get it straight at the bottom. Now we work on the, the back. This is where my arrow supports that I've chosen to put them there. I've seen them on the sides. Do it the way you want. I like it off of the back and you'll see why in a minute. So I've cut, pre-cut four of these inch and a half pieces of PVC. Okay, two of them, one's gonna go in here on this side, like that. The other is gonna go into that side. Grab your last two remaining T's that you have right here. And you're gonna put them facing up. So you put it on just like that. On this side, just like that. Now, now that we've got the T's facing up, you have the center piece that's going to attach the back piece of the frame here. This one here was cut at 14 and three quarters of an inch that made that thing perfectly square in there. So 14 and three quarters on this piece. Stick her in there. Obviously, like I said, once once you hammer it together, it's going to be good. So that is the base for the entire bow stand. Now, we needed, I wanted to go to a bigger size on the cup holders and the arrow holders. So two pieces that you'll need for this if you decide to make a double bow holder, which I did, is a two inch down to an inch and a half reducer. Make sure you buy two of those. 
I told you I cut four of those, uh, inch and a half. That's what we're gonna put in the tops of these tees. You can go shorter with it if you want them a little shorter. I just chose four inches of the meter, so. One there, one there. Now your reducers, they go right on top. Just like that. Okay, from this point, that's where your arrows are gonna go down into. So, I chose to cut a piece, two pieces at 12 inches of the two inch PVC. Two pieces of 12. They go right here. Obviously you wanna eyeball it too, make sure it's straight up and down. From there, you have to have two two inch tees, okay? I put them, you can face them out this way if you wish. However you want, you can face them. I want mine back. So I'm putting them on to face back. Just like that. Now we're in the two inch pieces of pipe, okay? So I cut two of them at four inches. I'm gonna go off to the back side of this tee. One's gonna go there, one's gonna go there. All right. I want those drink carriers to come up, so you need two two-inch elbows. Here, here. It's like putting a jigsaw puzzle together for it. Kind of fun, actually. So, now I've cut for my drink holder. Some people wanted them a little shorter. I wanted mine a little taller, like I told you at the beginning of this video. I don't like bending, so cut mine at eight inches a piece. Those are gonna go right here and right here. Then you have where I made the cup holder. Like I said before, I couldn't get these out. I will eventually. Uh, but anyway, I've cut pieces of wood to go into the bottom of that. I'll drill holes in it later just so it can drain. But two inches from four inches. So those will go right here on top like that and the second one just like that. and we kind of eyeball it obviously you want to glue it all right guys that is pretty well the build that i'm going with to show you how stable it is show you how stable it is without even having it glued together guys so these i have funny and like i said some arrows are going to be longer I've got at least two inches between the fletching and uh, the base of the arrow holder. You have two of them back here and your arrow or your bow will go right here. A couple of the modifications that I'm going to make. So I'm either going to wrap this in paracord here for some softness there or just get some kind of material that I can put around that to kind of keep, keep my bow from getting worn there or the top piece of that. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Help me to make my videos better. Stay tuned for some hunting videos. Uh, good news is I have some hog places that I can hunt now. Can't give those out because it's kind of a they own it, I don't type thing, and I've been invited. So, But anyway, I'm excited about that. So hopefully we can get some hog hunting in. Maybe some deer, turkey definitely. He has turkey on the ground too, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please like and give me a subscribe. Guys, until